Welcome to another game. Uh, as you can see from the title screen, we're playing Not Tonight, brought to you by a developer called Panic Barn. Uh, just a quick shout out to Evil Tactician, who's provided us with the intro video to my videos, uh, including this one, uh, and going forwards. And I've put a link to his YouTube channel in the description of this video. And many thanks to him for doing that for me. Um, not Tonight. If I was to liken it to anything else, if you've ever played a game called Papers, Please, the principle is pretty much the same as that, but set in a Brexit situation. Probably the only Brexit game I'm aware of, but if anyone else could think of any more, then do give me a shout and let me know. Uh, if you've not played Papers, Please, you take a, or undertake a role of an immigrant in Britain who's working as a doorman, and you allow people in or not in, depending on certain criteria that the game dictates. There is a bit of a background story as well with your personal life and things like that. Um, and some of the decisions that you make in your life will impact your job and vice versa, basically. So we'll jump straight in and we'll just go and pick um, an avatar, I think it's wanting us to do. So uh, let's find one that we'll go for. Let's go for him. And then we've got these heritage options. So this is the background of who we are. So this first one here, born in Birmingham, um, uh, basically, you have a Nordic grandfather, I'm sure you're reading this um, just as I'm skimming, but a Nordic grandfather, so our citizenship is revoked, but we're being kept on as a as a bouncer. The other option, born in Bath, to a pair of uh, Spanish charity workers. Again, because of that reason, it looks like our um, citizenship, has been, citizenship has been revoked. And this one, born in London, welks in your blood, Mike's jelly deals, and uh, but we've got potentially some French blood here by the sounds of it. So again, a problem with our heritage. So not not pure, uh, it would seem. So which one do we go for? Well, I'm not one for cider, and I know nothing about it, so I won't pick that one. Um, not keen on reading, to be honest. Let alone Dickens or Shakespeare, unfortunately. So this one sounds more like me. I like Welks. I like jelly deals. And I've got an interest in the Blitz, I guess. So um, yeah, let's let's take this one. Uh, date format, date month. Yeah, fine. Uh, let's pick a voice. Possibly a little bit too too butch for me. Yeah, that's a bit more like it. Yeah, let's go for that one. Sounds like me after I'm confused. So <clears throat> let's uh, get started. It's a very simple game, so nothing really complex to it. It's a game that escalates in difficulty as well. So it starts off really easy, if I remember rightly, unless there are any more difficulties I played about a year ago. Um, but yeah, it ramps up in difficulty, and as I say, the game changes depending on choices you make. So the Euro bounce graces with their presence, that's us. New Year's Eve ball. Okay, so it looks like we're working on this particular event as a doorman. And off we go. So we've got a radio, so he'll use a radio to keep in contact. And we've got a clicker here. So if we click this, we allow people into the venue. So, um... She's not wearing very much. Okay, so I assume we just wait for people to need to come in now. Oh, we can move these things around, that's quite handy. Let's uh, leave that there, just because it was. Okay, select the queue. This lady first. Okay, so we're looking for a day on the ticket and a stamp. So there's a day, there's a stamp. So we'll let her in and uh, click the ticket. There she goes. Right, so she's in. If we make a mistake, I assume they tell us, so... And it's, yeah, Monday, so that one looks good as well. I'll probably go a lot quicker than this. And then if I do, I'll probably make a mistake. Grab the ticket from the left hand side. Onto here. I mean, you can move anything around in here, I think, anyway, so you can make it the way you want it to be. Well, that was very brief. Oh. Did we let someone in we shouldn't have? Let's 
a year earlier. Ah yes, I remember. Our flat. We have a letter. Okay, so it looks like we're in some sort of camp, basically. This is uh, so I'll buy a phone or tablet. Department of Euro Aliens, person of Euro Heritage. So that's us. Welcome to your new block. Your residence request being rejected. To maintain transitional residence, earn 2,500 pounds by January the 31st. So we had to be a bouncer. Interrogation officer, job contact you. Okay. Fine, so what have we got in these other things? We've got a map. Is it presumably a place we can go to in time? Obviously not at the moment. Calendar. And this is okay, so these are things that are happening in these ones. No one knows about. Okay, and letters. Well, we've got this one right here anyway. Um and we've got something in our bag. Uh, okay. This is our visa. Saying we're about to valid for a month and our number is double one two. Let's leave that in our bag. And we've got a tablet which is an apple ripoff, so this one's pear by the looks of it. Just while it's doing that, we've got some notes. Oh, okay. Turn on the phone. Okay, we're already one step ahead. It's about as slow as my phone. Hello indeed. Okay. Right, open texter and read the message. Okay, this is our security guy. I don't know that code, but uh, I'm just see one. Coming by on Thursday. Then you'll keep, don't cause trouble. We might let you stay, maybe. Okay, get some rest work tomorrow, so go to bed, I assume. Can I shut this down? There we go. And some news as well. Ah. Oh. Read that. Let's read it now. Politics. Ah. This one says sign to alert. Prince ability to unite right-wing elements. Okay. All right. So basically, they're hoping for a good future. Despite protests. Everything's been rejected in terms of people wanting to stay. Currently targeting persons of European heritage with fewer than two generations of citizenship. Or earning under 30,000 a year. Okay, so we've got to earn quite a bit. So what have we got here? Open Bouncer, which is probably our work sap. So it looks like we've got one job we can take. Let's upgrade here. This is our profile. Head Dorman is our aim, maybe. Bounce level one, no money by the looks of it. As so we can buy new clickers and things by the looks of it, and different upgrades. So it's all cosmetic stuff, but I suppose we have to actually earn some money and levels and stuff. So I think the first thing we need to do is, as per the instruction, take a, take a job. And we've also got a new entry in the calendar, which I think is just because we moved on to today. So uh, what do we get here? So we can have. Okay, so seven warnings, eight fine, fifteen fail. Okay, so to pass, I think we have to get five through bonus. Bonuses, you probably get more money and extra stuff. I can imagine. Let's we'll see what happens. So now we've opened the door. Let's uh, start the job. We've got a map thing as well. So okay, so we've unlocked the king's head. Okay, so this is our first job. Let's have a chat with uh, Dave. Hello. Hello. Dave. Pl oh, right, I thought his name was Dave Pleasure. Didn't see the full stop there. Boo, Just boo. Dave. Boo, boo, boo. Boo, boo. Boo, 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 boo. Check ID's on the door. Make sure everyone is over 18. Hello. And what's the date today? 2nd of Jan 18. Boo, boo. Let five boo, customers boo, boo. get paid. Ah, okay, so if we get those bonuses, then we get a little bit more money and hopefully make things a bit better. And we can see here, we can see that we've got to get those 15 in. What's this? Interact. Disco dancing medal. Presumably we don't do anything with that. Just 
cosmetic in the game. Right. Not really dressed as a bouncer, are we, I've noticed. Right, 18, so, okay, here we go. Over 18, born before 2nd of Jan 2000, so we'll keep an eye on that. Click the queue. So this is an ID check. 2nd of Jan. Okay, there's no issue, so they're fine, we'll let them in. Okay, well, they're not old enough, so we'll select the date of birth as being the problem and give it back to them, I assume. Uh, Underage, here we go. Okay, so she's been sent away and we weren't told we were wrong, so that's good. She's old enough. I guess we have to make sure they look like the person as well. So I think we can click any of these things as being issues. Oh no, just date of birth in this bit. Maybe it'll become harder. I do remember you have to make sure they look like the person as well later on. This guy's also fine. And she's also fine. Okay. So we've hit our target. Now can we earn our bonus? So we've got our five. He is not old enough. Can I have to send you away? Oh. That was probably me being really silly. You can laugh at me in the comments. See, this might look really easy, but sometimes you do lose yourself a little bit, you know? You're always concentrating and sometimes it doesn't necessarily, you know, get everything right. Certainly in my case, anyway. Okay, last call. They made one mistake, I think, by that. Ah, she's definitely not. No, I don't think I've made a mistake there. I think I've been fine with that one. Yeah. Looks like the place to be. Cool little bit of graffiti over here. Nice artwork, I've got the same places. It is nicely done. Those of you who have played Papers, Please before, you'll, you'll see the similarity straight away. Can we let this last person in? There we go. Okay, so we, we got a bonus, I think 15, there we go. We didn't make 20, even if I didn't make that mistake, I wouldn't have gotten 20, so I'm not too disheartened. Although I think we might have lost 8 pounds just by making a mistake, I'm not sure. Okay, so we've got those in. Ah, uh, there's our fine, yeah, we'll probably get... Oh, okay. Don't think I got any issue there. Cool, so we've got £20, so we're quite a way off our... Was it 2500 Um Honestly, I feel sorry for you, you folks. My plum was a Polish chap. <laughs> you know where I'm from. Where do we say we're from? Oh, we were actually from London, weren't we? But it was our, it was our grandmother who was French. And that is why I suspect people are going to give us a hard time. So we're back in the flat. And just as a taster, you've had the intro video and you've also had a proper level. So I'm going to end the video there. Cause, um, it might be a good idea just to leave this one as an intro video almost. And um, I will do another video shortly and hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now.